and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so today we will be looking at the time at function now the time at function is really helpful when you need to time specific things because let's say you are working with you just want to see how long something takes maybe you're trying to execute a function you need to see how long that function takes before it will be completed or a piece of code before it ends because sometimes you do need to work to make the program run as fast as possible and timing it could help you solve the problem so let's import the time it import the time it module and let's use it so let's print out time it dot time it so this will allow us to time things then stmt i don't know what that means but it allows us to put a piece of code here for example x is equal to a list of one two three four four five we are setting x equal as that and then we can say number and this is the amount of times we're going to do it and see how long it takes so number there we go so let's say that is one million if i'm not mistaken and let's print out and see what we get we get 0 0.2 seconds now if we're going to add another one there we get 2.2 seconds. So that's how long it takes to execute this line of code two times. Now, in the last video, we talked about how much faster a tuple is compared to a list. So let's quickly try and see if we can find a difference by changing that from a list into a tuple. As you can see, that is quite a significant difference. This one is almost one fourth the time of this one. So that is why you should use a tuple whenever you can. Now you can also use a little code block, so let's say code, and we can make that into a little string here. So here we can say, because this can also be used, of course it's also a comment, but it can also be used to keep a massive string. So here we can say something like x is equal to 5, y is equal to 10, create a function called sum that takes in x and y. And then we need to um, return x plus y, and then z is equal to sum x, y, and then we print out z. So let's see how long this will take to execute. So now instead of saying that, we can just say code. Let's see, how long does that take to, ooh, whoops. Yeah, so maybe not print it out because actually it's going to print that out each and every time. Okay. Let's try it again. That piece of code took five full seconds to execute. So there's actually another way you can speed up the process. So let's say you don't know how to make your Python code faster. Well, you could always install PyPy. I'm not going to go through installing it. It's just a tip for if you ever want to improve your code speed. But this is just more of a testing, you know, making some fun tests with Python, like timing how long something takes. So just for testing purposes, mostly. So if you ever need to time a little piece of code, now you know how to do it. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoy and see you all in the next video.